The Reverend Septimus Harding was, a few years since, a beneficed clergyman residing in the cathedral town of, mm, let us call it Barchester. Were we to name Wells, or Salisbury, Exeter, Hereford, or Gloucester, it might be presumed that something personal was intended, and as this tale will refer mainly to the cathedral dignitaries of the town in question, we are anxious that no personality may be suspected. Let us presume that Barchester is a quiet town in the west of England, more remarkable for the beauty of its cathedral and the antiquity of its monuments than for any commercial prosperity, that the west end of Barchester is the cathedral close, and that the aristocracy of Barchester are the bishop, dean, and canons, with their respective wives and daughters. Early in life, Mr. Harding found himself located at Barchester. A fine voice and a taste for sacred music had decided the position in which he was to exercise his calling, and for many years he performed the easy but not highly paid duties of a minor canon. At the age of 40, a small living in the close vicinity of the town increased both his work and his income, and at the age of 50, he became precentor of the cathedral. Mr. Harding had married early in life, and was the father of two daughters. The eldest, Susan, was born soon after his marriage. The other, Eleanor, not till ten years later. At the time at which we introduce him to our readers, he was living as precentor at Barchester with his youngest daughter, then twenty-four years of age. Having been many years a widower, and having married his eldest daughter to a son of the bishop a very short time before his installation to the office of precentor. Scandal at Barchester affirmed that had it not been for the beauty of his daughter, Mr. Harding would have remained a minor canon. But here, probably, scandal lied as she so often does. For even as a minor canon, no one could be more popular among his reverend brethren in the close than Mr. Harding. And scandal, before she had reprobated Mr. Harding for being made presenter by his friend the bishop, had loudly blamed the bishop for having so long omitted to do something for his friend Mr. Harding. Be this as it may, Susan Harding, some twelve years since, had married the Reverend Dr. Theophilus Grantley, son of the bishop, archdeacon of Barchester, and rector of Plumstead Episcopal, and her father became, a few months later, presenter of Barchester Cathedral. That office being, as is not unusual, in the bishop's gift. Now, there are peculiar circumstances connected with the precentorship, which must be explained. In the year 1434, there died at Barchester one John Hiram, who had made money in the town as a wool stapler, and in his will he left the house in which he died, and certain meadows and closes near the town, 